Hey everybody, it is Heather and today I am finally getting around to filming my Rainbow Sock Chronicles wrap up. Yes, I know that I completed this in December of last year, but that's okay. I just think that this is such a cool accomplishment that it deserves its own video, honestly. Um, in this box is 12 pairs of knit socks that I knit January through December of last year in a rainbow fashion. Um, it was held or hosted by So Sweet Violet and Lay Family Yarns. And um, the idea was you started with the color prompts that they gave you every month. You knit a new pair of socks. And by the end of the year, you would have a whole box of socks, brand new. Well, I completed my rainbow. Um, I love the socks. I have not worn any of these socks because I have been waiting for this video. I do wear my knitted socks. It's like my favorite knit to wear currently is knitted socks. I love them so much. And honestly, I prefer knitted socks now to regular store-bought socks. Um, one day I will do a video of my sock drawer. Um, it, it's full of socks. Um, I started knitting socks two and a half years ago. And in the past two and a half years, I've probably accumulated over 50 pairs of knitted socks. Um, nobody needs 50 pairs of socks. But I have at least 50 pairs. Close to 50, I would say. I also have a few pairs on the needles. So there will be more by the time I film that video, I'm sure. As it's not a priority. But there's that. So we are going to go through this amazingly cute box and talk about what's inside. So this is the box that was designed by So Sweet Violet. I believe her son designed it. Um, mine came damaged on the corner, so I went ahead and put some rainbow tape on it to cover up the damage since it is the Rainbow Socks Chronicles. So let's open up and see what we get inside. All right, I'm just floof them up a little bit. Here is my rainbow. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Okay, so I have a notes here of all the socks it is inside, so I will be able to tell you everything. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to tell you everything. I'm going to try my best to remember everything that I can. So this is my first pair. The prompt was pink. And this is the Hemingway Socks by All Knit Up. Which has this fun ribby tail all the way down the foot. Um, the yarn is by You Knit I Die in the color Addicted to You. The black is just, um, I believe it's Ficalina Arwetha Classic. In, you know black just to give it a little bit of pop so this is January my pink colorway February was this pair February was a test knit that I did for shutter monkey this pair of socks is simply stunning I love them so much they're beautiful. The stitch definition, those hearts, and they're beaded. Mm, so pretty. So, like I said, this is called the String of Hearts Socks. Um, it's by Shutter Monkey. The yarn is by Forgotten Fiber in Ruby Red Slippers. And the heart detail goes around on the back. And then it's got like what is that? Eye of Partridge Heel? These socks are absolutely beautiful. Probably my favorite pair in here. Um, I don't know why, but they're just pretty. Red is like my, my favorite color. One of my favorite colors. I guess I like all the colors, but you know, I like red. So we have pink and red. January, February. Next is March. Bam! March's socks is um, no true pattern. Um, I just made this up on the fly. It is very beautiful yarn. If you check it, it's got gold Stellina in it. Okay, 
So I'm going to show you one of these because I made this up on the fly. It is a two by two rib pattern on the cuff, except for the front and the back. The back has, <clears throat> excuse me, pearls all the way down the heel into the center of the heel, all the way down is a pearl stripe. And this is like super cute. And on the front, there is a knit stripe that is separated by pearls all the way down the foot. If I could get that. Let me if I hold it up to the down. There. You can see that it goes all the way to the toe. It goes all the way through all the toe decreases and everything, all the way to the tippy top is that. Isn't that cute? I absolutely love these. These look so good on. Oh, I dropped my socks. They look so good on me. I don't know. I just really love that detail of the garter going all the way into the bottom of the heel. It really is a cool detail. This yarn is by Pineapple Yarn. It is Papaya Playa in her gold lanai base. Oh, that's a good shot. Look at that. It's so pretty. Ah, oh, I love it. And the bread is, I don't remember. I believe it was just a random mini that I had. I, I say random. It came from somewhere. I just don't remember where. It was just a partial, like a scrap. And I did three stripes, one for each one of my kids to symbolize one of each one of my kids. So I love this colorway so much. So that's February, March. It's March. So, so far we have January. February and March. Okay. Next would be April. And this is another pretty much, this is a vanilla sock. And aren't they bright? Ah, I love this color. This is yarn by Up North Yarns in the color Neon Lemon. Um, the little bit of details that I put in for contrast is a hot jimmy yarns and it's um their halloween color haunted house and i did it on bottom of the heels the cast on edge in like two rows and the toes isn't this adorable and this is just a regular vanilla sock with a two by two rib and then you know a leg slip stitch heel and a foot so that is april Next is May. May is was neon green. These socks are my least, one of my least favorite pairs of socks I've knit. So, I don't know why. I thought it, I was struggling in May. Um, the first pair I knit, something happened. And the second pair, something happened. So, I just, I went with this. And I made this up on the fly. This is a ribbed sock. Um, all the way down the top of the foot is ribbed, which is cool. It's a two by two rib all the way down the foot and also all the way down the, the leg, you know, and on the top is a rolled cuff. So it just kind of cool. And it's got, you know, regular slip stitch heel. So it just looks kind of funny. I know it looks funny because it's ribbed and it's drawn in. But, you know, I don't know. Um, the yarn that I used was the Neon Green is an opal yarn that's just neon green. And I do love opal sock yarn. It's really good sock yarn. And the two stripes up here are by Pineapple Yarn again in the color Ocean Motion. Aren't they pretty? They match well. I mean, they're really cute. I don't know. Maybe I should give them a trance. Like I said, I haven't worn any of these socks. But other than trying them on. So, so, so far we have this part of the rainbow. So pretty. So the next color is June is the month. <laughs> the color. Um, I did a pair of DK weight socks. This is my first pair, called my first pair of DK socks. And I made this pattern up as well. Um, it is like a one by one rib cuff. And then on the sides, both sides going down is um, some eyelet 
So let's see if I can get this to show. And funny story about these socks. I knit these socks and then I had them on the sock blockers and I put them outside to dry and the sun bleached them amazingly bad. Like they were almost gray. They were, they started out light turquoise, like turquoise, bright turquoise. And then the sun bleached them um, both on one side, the side that was facing up to the point that I had to dye these socks over. I over dyed them in turquoise. So I will tell you the name of the colorway, but it's not true to color because once it was bleached, I over dyed them in turquoise. So like I said, these are my first vanilla DK socks by me. I didn't make a, use a pattern. I just made it up with the eyelets going down both sides, oh, both socks. Um, the colorway was a Lolo Did It um, Keep Pounding colorway held double with uh, um, You Knit I Die colorway. And because I was trying to make DK gauge. So, I mean, they turned out really cool and they are DK, they're very thick. <laughs> they're very thick compared to a finger and weight sock. These are, you know, noticeably thicker. I would probably just wear these around the house maybe or to sleep when it's really cold or in boots when it's super cold. Like if I ever go anywhere where it's snowing, I could wear these and these would totally keep my feet warm. Even with the eyelets, I think they'd keep my feet warm. So this is June. Next will be July. July is beautiful. Kind of went with the red, white, and blue theme, but this is gray, so it's not really white, but it looks red, white, and blue from afar. These are the morning coffee socks by the Crazy Sock Lady. The yarn is, the blue is Royal by Lolo Did It. The red is the same, a red mini. I think it's Ficalina Arweta again. I'm not sure. The gray is Dove's Cry by Hot Knit Yarns. Hot, hot, H-A-U-T-E, hot. <laughs> and they're very cute. I really like them. I absolutely love them. The blue is in Sparkle Base. The gray is in a Sparkle Base as well. Beautiful. I absolutely love these. These are red, white, and blue kind of for, you know, Independence because July is Independence Day month whatever okay the next is august and that is my retold socks these were a test knit that i did for left sock best sock and um i absolutely love it the idea behind this pattern was so that it would break up um, hand dyed yarns so they didn't pool a lot in a way you wouldn't enjoy and this is it worked I mean I guess it worked because I mean I don't know I don't mind that and they're very cute like I said I tested it and the yarn it's um by Ruby and Rose yarn colorway is dragonfly and it is on her sparkle base so pretty and when I posted this these socks in the um group people went crazy over this colorway and like I know that I made her at least three sales based on this color because it's so pretty guys this is a gorgeous color and then the next one is September and I made up this pattern as well I call it I'm calling it my reverse socks <sighs> I have no sense. <laughs> They're beautiful though, aren't they? This is Misfit Yarns and Violet Sky is the main color. These stripes are done by Mini Beach Bum Yarn. And it was like a mini set that came in like a little, it looked like a little radio. And it was all 80s themed um, colorways. I don't remember this one. But why I'm calling it my reverse socks. Originally, well, let's see. I have three garter stripes on the top of this foot. I have three garter stripes on the bottom of this foot. 
This foot has a garter stitch heel. This foot has a slip stitch heel. So that's kind of where I got that name from. I just made it up in my head. I don't have a pattern for this because like I said, I made it up on the fly. I like to make up my own sock patterns. I prefer it to actually knitting. Um, ooh, I'm a bad knitter. Look at that. <laughs> Let me see if the other one's in the other one too. No, I, I like I wove in one, but not the other. Okay, cool, man. Um, I just prefer making up my own patterns. I think it's kind of fun that they have two different heels. Like, I don't take socks seriously. They're socks. They're on the bottom of your feet. They're on your feet. Um, as long as they're comfortable and they're pretty. What does it matter if it's different or reversed? Now I have to go weave this end in because that's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> okay, so... October, November, and December were um, wild card months because we had already done, went through all the rainbow. We have used all the colors. So in October, November, and December, we were told to pick a colorway that went between two other months. So my first one that I picked is between yellow and green. What do you think? Did I nail it or what? Isn't this color gorgeous? This is Lemonade Yarns, the Lemonade Shop, her zebra base in pot o' gold. It was her um, St. Patrick's Day colorway. Isn't it cool? No pattern, again, I just did what I wanted to do. Um, I did a three by one cuff. I did a one by three leg backwards and then slips. Nope, not a slip stitch heel. A um, I have partridge heel. And I just think these this sock, this yarn color is really cool. Like, it's the first time I ever used a um, zebra base. And I really, really liked it. Um, so November, I did a between blue and turquoise. And I used no pattern. I just used a straight vanilla sock. This is, um, I have no label for this yarn. It is one of my first hand dyed yarns I ever purchased. Um, I bought it in a local yarn shop that is no longer here, but it's really pretty. And at the time I didn't knit socks. I just thought the yarn was pretty and it was kind of in my color wheel, color house, whatever they say. So I decided to buy it. This is just, you know, a two by two, Two by two rib, vanilla sock, slip stitch heel. Simple. This is between blue and turquoise. And the last color that I chose was between red and pink. And these have a, are sentimental to me. There's no pattern used. I made up this pattern as well. But I also dyed this yarn. So, special, special. It is, like I said, on the rainbow between the pink and the red. This is what the color I call Hawaiian Punch, and I dyed it because I have been dyeing yarn, and I do have yarn for sale in my Etsy shop if you want to go check it out. I mainly dye minis because minis are fun, but I do have some regular full skeins as well. So this is a three by one rib all the way down the leg in the cuff and also down the heel. As you can see, I like to play with the heel because honestly, I just think it's cool to have a matching heel with sock. I mean, it's it looks it looks good. And the socks are so pretty, guys. Like I'm very proud of these because, you know, I dyed this yarn and I called it Hawaiian Punch. So, that was all 12 pairs of my socks. Now, I'm going to see if I can show you these in color order. I don't know if I'll be able to. So we have January, February, December, <laughs> but that's how the rainbow works, right? Pink, pink, red, red. Then it was red, orange, and orange went to two, yellow, Then we went to green, 
then we went to turquoise, then we went to turquoise and blue, then we went to blue. <laughs> oh no, I missed a color. Yellow and green goes between yellow, yellow and green. <laughs> then we've got lilac. And then we have purple. So this is, ah, this is a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be, I don't know. Let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to straighten them so I can make them look pretty. Hi, rainbow! I think you can pretty much see all the colors in there. I mean, Look at that, guys. This is my rainbow. I'm so proud of these. They're all beautiful. I hope you all like them all. Um, if anybody is curious about any of the patterns that I just kind of wh whipped up in my mind, you can ask questions down below. I will be happy to answer them if I can. I use 64 stitches, um, US 1, 9 inch needles, 9 inch circumference, little ones, US 1. What's that? 2.25 millimeter? That's what I use. Um, so that's my rainbows. I'm so happy with them. Um, now that I've showed you all, I can wear them. I can't wait. Like, I know a lot of people said they were going to wear the color in the month after, like January, you know, wear the January color. I didn't do that, obviously, because here it is May and I haven't worn any of them. <laughs> but I will now that I've showed you all. So, Thank you for watching my Rainbow Sock Chronicles wrap up. I had so much fun doing that and I would totally participate in that again if somebody chose to do it, like maybe a pastel rainbow or I don't know, maybe a blue rainbow or something like that. Like an ombre kind of thing, like start with the very light blue or white and then go all the way to like navy blue. That'd be really cool. Maybe I should just do that myself one year. I don't know. I like doing knit-alongs. They're fun. So I hope everybody is having a great day. I will be back next week with my Pineapple Yarns um, Mystery May unboxing. Keep up alive, guys. Peace.